and the normal force is down. So the whatever is pushing you down, okay, is the normal force. The seat is ab above you, and then you have your weight is uh, mg, and then you have n plus mg. They're both down, and acceleration is down also towards the center of the circle. mv squared over r. So in this case, the normal force is equal to so this is the general equation for the normal force at the top of the revolution type, right? Revolution, this is, let's say, let's top. And now we can analyze this. If the v is 0, what happens? Well, here is where you see the problem. n equals negative. Now, when the n is negative, you have problems. That means you're no longer in contact with the surface that's supporting you. And you fall. OK? And if this was a water bucket, the water would spill. OK? So the n equals negative, and you fall. Unless you have a seatbelt, you can hang on to it. OK, so therefore, there is a minimum v. What is that minimum v at the top? The minimum v is when the normal force is 0. That's, that means you're barely hanging on. You're barely in contact. So v min, so set the normal force equal to 0, what do you get for v min? When the normal force is 0, v min comes out to be the m and the m cancel, square root of rg, right? v min equals uh, square root of uh, rg. Then that's the minimum velocity that you should go at so people feel like before they fall off. How about max v? Is there a maximum v? Well, as v goes to infinity, what happens? As v goes to infinity, well, this thing just keeps getting bigger, and then n goes to infinity. So there is no absolute m maximum. However, again, you don't want people to feel too heavy at the top. So you again design it so that people feel, let's say, three times their weight or whatever. So let's say I were to ask you again, how fast should you design the revolution type ride at the top so that people feel three times their weight? Okay. Feel three times your weight. So again, put n equals 3mg. Put it into that formula. The mg goes over there to the uh, to the top, and we have 4mg. And uh, So 3mg plus uh, mg, that's 4mg. And then v equals square root of that. So that's going to be 2, 2 square root of gr, right? So if, if, you, if the velocity goes at that velocity, then you feel three times your weight at the top. Now that's more like it. I mean, if I were the one designing the ride, I would aim for this kind of velocity, not this one. If you have, uh, if you have uh, v equals square root of rg at the top, people are going to feel like they're about to fall. You don't want them to feel that. So you want it to be a little bit more, like maybe double that speed or something, you know. OK, now let's look at the top of the Colossus type of situation. This one is reverse of that. Okay, 
you're going to see that now. This one, the normal force is up, the mg is down, your acceleration is down, and the equation looks like, because what you're doing is you're going up like this, and the circle that you're making is down, right? So you're accelerating towards the center, and now you have mg minus uh, n equals mv squared over r. And uh, this time now you have n equals... The formula is like that. Now, here's an interesting difference now. The top of the Colossus type ride, or the Colossus type, any other situation like that, then you're going to feel, by necessity, you're going to feel less than your weight. You can't feel three times your weight anymore. Okay? And you, can, you all remember this when you're driving, right? Imagine you're going over like this kind of a hump, you know? Uh, you're driving, you're, you go over this kind of a thing. You always feel like this feeling like, <gasps> like you kind of catch your breath, right? That's the feeling of feeling lighter, okay? You're always feeling lighter depending on how fast you're going, okay? So let's see if there's any minimums or maximums here. If V min, uh, let's see, if, uh, you know what, let's write it this way. If V is zero, Then what is the normal force? Uh, well, it's just equal to your weight, mg. So this one, there is no minimum speed. You can stop at the top of the road, or the, the train can stop at the top of the ride, and you don't fall. OK, is there a maximum speed? As v goes to infinity, what happens? Well, yeah, n goes to negative infinity, you know. So there is a maximum speed. And that's given by, actually, it's the same as the minimum speed there, right? The minimum speed there was square root of rg. This one is the same formula. It's the maximum speed now. The maximum speed is square root of rg. The normal force equals 0. So again, next time you're driving, I know on the road to Vegas, there's a lot of roads like this that have these humps, you know. Next time you're driving, you see one off to the, uh, you know, ahead of you, you see this road that has a hump. Again, calculate the radius and apply this formula right there, square root of RG, okay? And don't go faster than that because you're going to be airborne otherwise, okay? Because what happens is, if you go faster than that, by the time you get here, the normal force is zero, and then you just, you're airborne after that, like that. The road is like this, let's say. You're just airborne, and then you go like that, and then you hit the road somewhere down here, you know, like that. So that's the maximum uh, uh, velocity. And then we can ask any other kind of variation. I can say, what should, you, what should you design the ride? How fast should it go so that people feel half their weight there? This time, I will not say more than their weight. So how fast, uh, what should V be? So you feel half weight at the top of a, that kind of a ride. So then you put here again to the formula, you put half mg. And you move this over to this side, you move this over to this side, you get, uh, you get actually you basically end up with half mg equals mv squared over r, and the, m, and the m cancel, and then v equals square root of uh, gr over 2. So if it goes that fast, you will feel half your weight at the top. Okay. So there could be a variety of questions based on this, uh, these situations here. 